Alright guys, so today we're going to be looking at Just Cause 4 and comparing it to Just Cause 3 and talking about the things it does wrong as a sequel and the two things it does right. So, first thing I want to talk about is an analogy I made in my Halo Infinite video about the color, right? But this game has the exact opposite problem, right? With Halo Infinite, it looked like they took the saturation and just turned it all the way up. For this game, they did the exact opposite. Everything is way too dark. It's not bright enough. This isn't the type of game that needs to be dark and gloomy. I need a lot of color just everywhere. Throw it in my face. What they're doing with Halo is exactly what you want to do with this type of game. Right. And let me just show you a clip from Just Cause 3 so you can compare them side by side so you know what I'm talking about. So this is Just Cause 3 and you can see the blues with the water and the sky and the green and it carries over into the wingsuit and the bullets and there's even bits of blue in the explosion and the trees look good and all the fields are bright greens and the explosions explosions are bright and then you switch over to just cause four all right there, there's green it's there but it's it's really dull this isn't even his primary outfit it's just a pair it's just black his regular outfit this is actually the just cause three outfit that uh, I chose to put on because it actually has color in it. The water looks absolutely terrible, but we'll get into that later. And I'm not saying that just because 4 doesn't have moments where it looks good, because it definitely does. I prefer the night setting for just because 4. I think that's where it's dark colors and tones and all that really sh are shown off in this game. And the water specifically looks a lot better at night. And there's a reason for this graphical downgrade. So if you didn't play Just Cause 3, the game had major performance issues, I mean frame rate drop, freezing, crashing, all that, right? So they try to fix that in Just Cause 4 by lowering just the overall graphics required to run the game, but that results in water looking like this, and then water from five years ago looking like this. And I know there's people out there that don't care about the graphics, it could literally be 8-bit and they would still love it. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with 8-bit, but my point is, is that there's a reason for the downgrade and there's a clear downgrade. Even while editing this video, I dragged in the wrong clip and I immediately noticed it was just cause 4 because of how bad it looked. Right? So that's just a point I wanted to get out there. But that's not the only problem that this game has. There's gameplay issues here also. So... The appeal of Just Cause 3 is that the you go to your home country, right? The faction has taken over whatever the enemy faction is. It's a faceless enemy, right? Doesn't matter. And the whole process of clearing the map and gaining your areas back, like many other open world games, is repetitive, just like it always is. But it's done in an interesting way, at least. Kind of like Wildlands, where... You have these outposts that you take out, and as you take out these outposts, you claim parts of the map back, unlocking more vehicles and weapons and abilities, right? And I kill myself here, yes. But also, like the Ghost Recon series, the sequel completely takes that factor out, right? So the driving point of the previous game, which was taking out these outposts and blowing stuff up, which is the main attraction of the game, and just causing destruction all around is opted out for more of a point faction skill tree route if that's what you want to call it i guess i don't even know how to describe this right you just do missions and then you gain enough fighters to unlock the next region and they still have that outpost that you can go destroy but it's much more structured go do this and it's a main mission it's not just you know you can go around the map and discover them at your will and do as you please, right? It's a lot more rails on, as I say in my Infinite Warfare video. But it's not all bad, right? Just Cause 4 does add a couple of things to the franchise that are positives. It's just the other negatives weigh it down more. The balloon system that you saw me using earlier, it really basically it boils down to the expansion of the grappling hook system, right? In Just Cause 3, you added boosters that you could attach to them and 
a little bit of modification, but in this one they really go all out, allowing you to use boosters, balloons, modify the, the rate at which these things work, and it's just all about customization. Another big thing they add, which you see me using here a bit, is secondary fire for weapons, which is just an alternate, you know, ability for weapons. If you use the smart rifle, something like that, it, it has the ability to lock onto enemies. Rocket launchers can change directions mid-air. SMGs have rocket launchers attached to them, so it adds a little bit more to the gun combat. But like I said, it doesn't add enough. Now, the big, the big boy for this game, right? For just cause four, their big thing was the weather system, right? And you've seen it. If you haven't played the game, you've seen it. If you have played the game, it's this big tornado that they they show off a lot, honestly, and. It's not that impressive, right? You don't come across it until a fair ways into the game, and you don't come across it that often when it does occur. I mean, you can go play around in it like anything else, but I found it to be one of those things that, after doing it once or twice, it's just not that interesting, right? I'd rather go mess around with the options in Just Cause 3, and that's really what it boils down to. You can still do stuff like that and just cause for it, right? The the capability for destruction is still there, right? If I were to give you an analogy for this one, because that's the theme we've been running on lately, right? So, it's like if I told you to paint a picture, right? And I gave you just the crappy crayons, right? You know what I'm talking about, the ones that just break in half and, and snap and don't color real well. Those are the ones you get, right? But I get all the good ones, the colorful ones, the ones that work really well or flashy and and just the best crayons in the box, right? We, our objective is the same. And you'll be able to tell it's the same thing, but yours is going to look significantly worse and perform significantly worse. And, you know, it's not my greatest analogy, all right? But the point is, is that Just Cause 4 is just a skin of Just Cause 3, right? And I don't mean that as a reskin, but it's more of a shell, right? It takes the name from a previous game, carries it over, and just sucks all the life out of it, right? All the things that make Just Cause 3, Just Cause 3. The vehicles, the, the color, the explosions, the outposts, all the stuff that, you know, you think of when you think of Just Cause 3. It's just not there in Just Cause 4, right? And they try to replace that with the tornado, and it just doesn't work. I think... Just Cause 4 was made just as, I guess you could say, a test in order to fix the frame rate problem from Just Cause 3, and they got through it, they achieved their goal of fixing the problem, but they had nothing new to add, right? They fixed all of the stuff, they, they got the game working, it works great now, it runs great, it looks a little bit worse, but they didn't add anything new, no new mechanics, nothing fun to replace the things that were lost in fixing the frame rate, right, so, like I said, I like Just Cause 3 more, you can like Just Cause 4 more, that's perfectly fine, if you like it more, let me know why you like it more, what you think is better about it, and I'll see you guys on the next one.